everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with what's new in Primark, which I am so excited about because I honestly love these videos. And Primark, when I last went in, was doing so good. I last went in and I filmed like a autumnal come shop with me. So if you haven't gone and seen that, definitely go and watch that because I did like a little sort of mini what's new in Primark in that. But when I went, it was so good. They had so much good stuff in. So I'm really hoping that today they've got some more like amazing new bits in that I can show you because it's like my first what's new in Primark for the autumn season so I'm hoping there's going to be some really good bits that I can show you. Yes it's autumn and yes I'm literally wearing a summer dress still but it is so hot at the moment that like I can't quite bring out the autumn fashion just yet even though I kind of want to so just ignore the fact that I'm wearing some summery but we're going to be talking literally all about autumn fashion today. I'm going to start rambling, I'm going to get in the car, I'm going to drive to Primark and we're going to go and see what's new in. We've made it and it's literally 13 minutes past nine. So I'm hoping, okay, it's looking good. It's looking nice and quiet, which is exactly what I wanted. This is already screaming autumn. Look at this blazer. It's like a hound tooth. Oh, it's like a brown and a black one. I don't know if it's showing up very well on camera, but it's like brown and black mix. 22 pound, which isn't bad. And the model's wearing it here. I mean the mannequin, not the model. That's kind of what it looks like, but I would size up with that and make it like really baggy. And then she's also got the little croc chile and the little skirt with it. Is that like a, Oh, it's like a faux suede skirt. That's quite nice. And that's only £10. I feel like those prices are actually really good because Primark prices are definitely going up recently, but they're not too bad. I absolutely love these jumpers. I know I show them in my com shop with me, but I'm going to have to show them in the What's New in Primark as well because these are my favourite autumnal purchase so far this year. They're these like really slouchy thick. They've got wool in them. Um, really, really lovely material jumpers. They're £17, which is kind of pricey for Primark, but they're so nice. I've got the dark grey and then they also have this like baby pink colour. They've got this brown, which I absolutely love. And then they also have a beige, but it doesn't look like they've got any of the beiges left in stock. But I did show that in my most recent come shop with me, like I said. So if you want to go and um, see that when it's in there, but they're honestly the nicest jumpers. Let me just quickly show you in the mirror. This is the large, which is a size that I have. And I wear it as like a jumper dress. That's kind of what it looks like. Oh, and also upcoming Primark haul. I show you this in a try on clip. So basically I'm just promoting all my other videos. So if you're not subscribed already, you should definitely be doing that. Oh my God, look at this bag. I've seen a few people post about this. I kind of love it. 10 pound, it's like this Borg. Imagine this with like some ultra mini Uggs or something like that together, like the Sherling Borg material looks so cute. I wonder if it's got a long strap though. Let's have a look. It's got like poppers. Oh, it does have a long strap, which is perfect because I don't like having to like carry it like that all the time. I'm kind of tempted to get that actually because it's so cute. They've also got this little like cable knit jumper, which I think if you size up in that, it could look kind of nice. And these little hats are so cute for £3.50. Again, like autumnal dog walk vibes. It's such a nice brown colour as well. Like I feel like on camera, it's showing up a little bit more red, but that with like the antelope coloured um, Uggs would look so cute. This scarf looks so nice. It's like a cream grey and beige one for £8. It's really soft as well, like a really nice chunky knit. And then they've also got these which look really nice for like going for like a nice cosy autumnal dog walk and wearing these under like dog walking boots. Slouchy cosy socks or like wearing them when you come back from the dog walk to have like, oh, look, they're kind of like that. To wear them like when you come back for like a little, you know, post dog walk hot chocolate. And they've got the Uniqlo bag dupes as well they're seven pound they're actually quite like a handy size bag and i like that you've got that so then like if you're in london or something you can put your valuables there and have it like close to your body these jeans are kind of nice i don't like the wash of them i'd rather them be a lighter wash but they're like a super wide leg high-waisted jean for 18 pound i feel like them with like a simple white top um like because the jeans are quite a statement so you could wear something really simple and they'd look really nice you almost just died i had you set up on my tripod and the tripod fell off and i think i honestly thought my camera was broken so i've just decided to rest on a pair of jeans now instead to avoid you falling off again because that was the scariest moment of my life like i literally saw my life flash no that's a bit dramatic but this is an expensive camera anyway i'm in the jeans section and i've just seen these which i thought were really nice and i wanted to set you up so i could talk about them and then the whole camera nearly broke this is a bit of jean here please just ignore that but look at how nice they're like a ripped jean i love the wash of them wide leg high waisted and they've got loads of rips in them i don't know if you can see but i'm too scared to move my camera because honestly i thought it was broken then and then all the videos i planned to film today i couldn't film oh my god i was scared but cute jeans nothing less i'm not sure how i feel about these they're kind of like a cardigan but they also look bit like a coat like they're a really thick cardigan with like an open collar they also have a gray one for 25 pound they're quite like the same material as those jumpers that i love but i just don't know if i like it or not like i can't really work it out this cardigan is so cute it's like a kind of boucle type material oh my god it's so soft as well that is actually so nice like a simple like a kind of basic fit cardigan but the material of this is so lovely 15 pound which again not like super cheap for Primark but that material is so nice 
They also have this one as well, which is also £15. It's a different material, it's more like a jumper, but it's like a striped one with the tortoiseshell buttons, which is kind of cute. And they've also got a beige one as well, which is kind of similar. It's a different material, but it's still quite a nice, like, oversized, boxy little beige cardigan. That one's £13. These jumper dresses are so cute. £19, I feel like that's so random, like they might as well have just made them 20 But anyway, um, really lovely thick material. I like, kind of feel like a Zara jumper material, like that really thick material. And they've got like the fold over collar and a, like a three quarter length zip. I love them, especially, I actually don't know which one I prefer. I was gonna say, especially love that one, but I actually think they're both really nice. Like, they're really easy to throw on as well and they'd look so cute with like some boots. I am really not sure about this. This is giving like old lady kind of thing. Like, I think it's cool to have a scarf and a jumper matching, but like this is built in, this scarf. It's 19 pound as well, like a V-neck jumper but I really don't know how I feel about that it's giving like olden grandma which is not an issue but I don't really want to wear that when I'm 22 do you know what I mean it just looks a little bit weird I don't really know how I feel about that although to be fair the model mannequin thing is wearing it there and it looks a little bit better on when you've got it like that but I'm still not sure look at this oversized like chunky cable knit jumper dress 20 pound I don't actually know if it is a jumper dress or a jumper but it's quite a long jumper so if you size up you could definitely wear it as a jumper dress that is so cute like chunky with some boots that is so autumnal like that is the epitome of autumn to me and i love it this top is giving skims it's that kind of like slinky bit like the zara you know like the zara vest top material it feels like that and it's six pound i think it's cropped it's like a little black t-shirt but that I think is giving, it's like a skims top, that kind of vibe. This top is literally giving Zara dupe. It's like the Zara wide leg, not wide leg, wide strap. You know the ones that people wear back to front? They basically look like this, but they're from Zara. This does feel a little bit more flimsy, although it does have like a double lining where your boobs go, like the Zara one does, but this is definitely like a cheaper quality. It's six pounds, so it's cheaper than the Zara one, but I would actually say just get the Zara one because for those extra few pounds, it's definitely more worth it. But if you wanted to dupe, Zara, no, oh my God, I'm getting so confused. Primark have this one. They also have these as well, which have the same neckline, but they're like a little cropped t-shirt. There's like a gray one for six pound and then also a black one. And they're the exact same sort of like slinky type material. Same as these ones actually, which also are Zara dupe. They're like a bodysuit um, halter neck and they're also Zara dupe. This whole section, this whole wall, is basically just giving Zara. They also have this colour in the Zara vest top dupe. I can't really get it out very well, but it's like a little beige, same as the black one, like a kind of like scoop neck um, Zara dupe basically. Why am I making that more complicated than it needs to be? I also saw these the other day. If you've seen my weekly vlog, you'll already seen these, but they've got these built in bra tops now, like the Uniqlo ones. So they've got a black one and they also, oh my God, is this the white one? I've never seen the white one in store. This is so good though, because they're like the whole neck. So you've got like a built-in bra without actually having to wear a bra. And they are 10 pounds, which is a bit pricey for Primark. But then like, because of this aspect, I do feel like you can kind of justify that. They've got some new leggings. They're kind of just like a basic feeling legging, but they're like a flared leg. They go like a wide leg. They've called them HW straight legging. They're six pounds, but they kind of flare out. And they've also got a gray color, which is giving me like Lululemon yoga pants kind of vibe. Like. They're kind of like, I can't really show you, but you see what I mean? They're like third out at the bottom. I'm gonna take these leggings off the um, hanger just so I can kind of show you what I mean because I feel like I was not showing them very well. I've literally got a woman sitting next to me on the phone, but I don't really care, but that's why I'm like really close up. So this is them. Oh, you're not like not even able to see. Can you kind of see that? They're like a they like flare out at the bottom like that. I don't feel like I showed you that very well, but that's hopefully better than what it was. These tops are so nice. They're seven pound and they're like a, a quite a thick material, like boxy oversized t-shirt. They've got a black one and a striped one. I think they might also have, yeah, they also have it in a white as well, but it's such a nice like baggy oversized fit. Like with leggings, just like a really simple outfit that would look really nice because the shape of it is just so, oh, what does it say here? Repair me, rewear me, recycle me. I don't really know, but the shape of it is so nice. I've come to the beauty section and these are new. They've got like the dermaplaning um, little like face razor things for two pound. And you get four in there, so that's so good, like 50p each. They've got really nice colors and I actually love these. It just gets rid of all like the baby hair and the peach fuzz off your face and just makes your makeup sit a lot nicer. And it's actually so good that Primark are doing them now. They've also got disposable razors, which I think it's just better to get like a reusable one. But if you need a disposable one for whatever reason, two pound for four that's actually so good they've got these new tinted lip balms which i think are meant to be a dupe of the mac ones and this looks like quite a nice shade it's in the shade bubblegum this one's already open it's like a really nice like baby pink color like a really nice natural nude i'm gonna quickly swatch it so we can see oh it doesn't really give anything like look at that 
but it's quite a nice like moisturizing lip balm like it feels really lovely and it would just give like a little tint a bit like wearing your carmex but a little bit nicer i don't think i've ever seen this before tinted moisturizer they only have one color though but if they had this in my shade i'd be tempted to get it because i feel like that's just a nice really like i know summer's ending but still like a nice lightweight when you don't want loads of makeup on so it's got a radiant finish for five pound i feel like i mean it's quite a big tube actually it's got spf 30 in it but they've only got shade one and i would need a darker shade than that but that actually looks really nice i actually use a primark foundation at the moment because i love it like i got it to test out in a video but i'm actually obsessed with it so do not sleep on primark makeup because it's actually really good i actually need a new mascara just my bottom lashes because i wear fake lashes so i'm kind of tempted they've got this one false lash queen for three pound fifty and they've also got this one I think they're meant to be dupes of something, but I don't actually know what they're meant to be dupes of. But I'm kind of tempted to try them because I literally just said don't sleep on primer makeup and it is. <gasps> Look at this. I've got like a little brow kit, brow taming kit for £3.50. A brow gel tweezers, a spoolie and a brush. That's actually so good, especially for traveling. Like that is so handy. It's all in one little kit. You could like keep it in your handbag for like touch ups throughout the day or something. That is such a good idea. They also have these now, £2.50 glow skin set remove cleanse and exfoliate oh they're like different like little pads that you can use for different things and they also have i feel like they've had this before but not this this like big one they've got their own miss Lair cleansing water for £2.50 and i always use this to like do my first cleanse not the primark one but like a miss Lair one so i'm kind of tempted to try the primark one and see how good it is if anyone's tried it let me know if it's worth it this looks so fancy olive bath oil for £4.50 I bet that's quite good actually for when you want to take off your tan because I normally use like baby oil to get rid of my tan but I bet that actually works really well and it's like a bit of a nice alternative. This is one of the best bits about Primark Autumn is all the pyjamas. They've got these really really soft, um, super soft like beige ones. These look really nice. I love like a checker pyjama in the autumn. This like check little set which is £14 and then they've got these which I know people love like the boyfriend style pyjamas they're meant to be I don't actually own them but I'm kind of tempted to get a pair this year because they're meant to be so comfy that's the model wearing them and that green is actually so nice they've got a black and I kind of love I'm tempted by the grey because they're just so nice I think I might actually get them I think I want to get a small though because although I'm an extra small I don't want them to be really tight I want them to be nice and oversized and baggy these pyjamas are so nice they honestly feel like butter they're so smooth and buttery and like the colour of them this beautiful like mauvey brown with the white piping they've got a long sleeve a little vest top trousers and then they also have little matching shorts you can mix and match and they also have um, a nightie as well and they're so nice like honestly the material of these and i can imagine like coming home and having like a nice cozy autumnal like sunday morning or like an evening watching films wearing these they're like the nicest feeling pajamas ever i love these checked pajama bottoms i just love the color scheme of them they're giving like cotswolds countryside kitchen kind of vibes like wake up on a sunday morning making pancakes which is definitely the vibe that i aspire for 12 pound they've got like a nice cream elasticated waistband i, I don't put like, the camera showing the color off very well but they're really nice oh and they've also got oh my god they've got little matching shorts or like an option of shorts for eight pound and then they've also got like a nighty type oversized shirt you could wear that as a dress which again imagine that on like a sunday morning cooking breakfast that is so cute like the color scheme of that is adorable this is a little like dress thing it says it's a shirt but it's quite long on her and she's wearing it with just like underwear underneath um but that's kind of what it looks like so it's like a nice oversized fit i would wear it just as like a little oversized shirt kind of thing i'm kind of tempted by that i really don't need any more pajamas but like that is actually so cute like it's giving me sunday morning autumnal vibes which is one of my favorite vibes i'm not really a disney fan like disney clothing fan but this is such a cute little like comfy um lounge wear. it says pajamas but i personally wouldn't wear that to sleep in but like that is so comfy to just lounge around the house in like a little jumper with the matching shorts they're 10 pounds so it's kind of pricey but it is that like fluffy material which is normally quite expensive but i actually think like that fits so nice it looks so cute together they've also got this in the same material which is actually kind of cute it's like an oody type thingy but i actually quite like it 25 pound look at how cute i feel like alana's gonna love that because she loves stitch and they've actually got like a little hot water bottle as well but they've got some really nice like stitch pieces i actually can't get over how cute that little two piece is like i wouldn't wear it well i would if it wasn't like disney like if they did that in something else like a beige and a white i would snap that up this is so pretty look at the color so nice it's like a silky little bralette like, they've come out with a few of these but they've always been gross colors but now they've actually got like a really nice pink and then you can get the little matching bottoms or they have like a little bodysuit and they've also got a dark green which in like the winter would be so nice it's kind of like 
it's almost looking black but it's just a really really dark green the top is seven pound and the shorts are six pound but that is so cute like that is actually adorable normally this setup for the accessories gives really good vibes but i'm not really feeling anything like they've just got some boots and some bags but none of it is really wow me i'm just gonna do like an over like a little pan just in case any of this is for anybody else but i don't really i'm not really loving it these are quite a nice boot to wear with like a jumper dress or something they're not too high of a heel and they're quite a chunky heel so i feel like they'd be quite easy to walk in and they're like a faux suede camely brown color imagine that with like a nice chunky like cable knit jumper dress or something and they've also got them in black and then they've also got these little cowboy boots which are quite nice these are giving a question but i kind of am not mad about them like if you're going for like a country side kind of vibe maybe going for like a little weekend away in the cotswolds and you wanted to go for like a country kind of rural vibe they're quite a nice boot they're 22 pound they're like elasticated on the back there they are giving horse rider but like you could definitely style them to make them look kind of cute these two scarves are so nice that one's six pound for like a camel but like that's a really stable one that would go over a lot and then this one's five pound for like a checked very autumnal again like it's there are so many nice autumnal things it feels so weird shopping for autumn when it's like 26 degrees outside don't know what's happening with september but i'm not complaining but i also am kind of excited to wear like chunky knits like this and get all like wrapped up and cozy look at these slippers memory foam they're like little sliders they're kind of giving ugg vibes like they've got two little a bit like birkenstock but like fluffy oh my god they've got an orange pair i kind of love the pop color they've got a pink as well oh i love these ones look at the color of them and then they've also got like a, just a simple like singular slider one and these are like a crossover they've got so many like memory foam really fluffy sandals but i think these are my favorite these would have been so cute for the summer because they're giving like chanel slider jupe but i just don't really like the gold in them like i'd prefer if they were more just like a plain beige but they would have been so good for the summer i don't know if they've started to reduce their summer shoes but these are actually quite nice because they're like a little velcro one but now is not the season for them today is but next week it'll probably be raining so oh my god look at all the autumnal homeware look at how cute this little like boot clay pumpkin is seven pound that is so cute and i love that little autumnal wreath with the pumpkins on that's 14 pound they've also got some candles and like a little rim spray for four pound fifty look at how cute this candle is six pound and it's a little pumpkin that is so cute this is hilarious 10 out of 10 to whoever designed this from primark 